Hi guys, this is Andrew and welcome to another episode on AF Swift Tutorials. In this episode I'm gonna be talking about Core Motion. Core Motion is a framework that is a part of uh, iOS SDKs that allows us to use iPhone sensors like accelerometer, gyroscope and magnetometer to use in our apps. The main idea is to create an app with a UI view at the center of the frame and we need to move that view using an accelerometer data from our core motion from our iPhone. In order to test the app we need a real device, we can test it using a simulator. So let's go to the code. So first let's start from creating our view, create a variable circle of type UI view. And in view did load we're gonna initialize the circle which is gonna be UI view from frame and we need CG rectangle and we're gonna we're gonna get this XY with and height and for X we're gonna we're gonna need the circle to be at the center of a frame so we need a super view which we call just view frame and its width for X coordinate to be at the center we divide it by 2 and I know that our circle is gonna be 100 pixels so we need a center position so we my subtract minus 50 pixels. The same is gonna be for y. Again it's view frame and high at this time divided by 2 and again minus 50. So width 100 and height 100. Uh, our view is going to be a square. To make it a circle we need to add some coordinate radius. Circle layer coordinate radius 50. Half size of our width or height. And also let's add some background circle layer background color and make it UI color system green and CG color all right and the only thing we need is to add our circle to a super view view add sub view circle all right let's try to test it in a simulator And here you can see we have a green circle at the center of a frame. So now let's act on a core motion. First we need to add core motion framework, import core motion. And core motion is one of the frameworks that Apple encourages us to use as singleton. If you type CM Motion Manager, which we're gonna be using, and click Documentation. Here you can find an important note that you need to create only one core motion manager for your entire app in order to accelerometer and gyroscope work correctly. So we're gonna be using it like Singleton, like Apple encourages. So core motion manager. And what we need to do, we need a function start accelerometer updates to operation queue and handler. Operation queue, we're gonna be using main. And for handler, you hit enter. And here we have accelerometer data and error. Call it data and error. 
make it like this and let's add an own self to break potential memory leaks to make a reference weak and now let's check for potential error using guard guard error equals nil and else we just return and also we need to check that our data which is optional we need also to make we also need to add optional binding using guard let statement accelerometer data equals data and else we return all right so what's accelerometer data accelerometer data returns acceleration and coordinates x y and z coordinate x coordinate is for tilting our iphone left to right y coordinate is up and down and z coordinate uh, is a axis that is perpendicular to an iphone screen we use z coordinate in order to check if our iphone is placed screen down in a screen up position so first uh, we need to get a center of our circle and assign it a new CG point so let's add self because we are inside of the closure self.circle center which is a CG point so we need to assign it CG point and it's gonna be double and here we need to get original self.circle center point x center x and add our accelerometer acceleration so we're gonna add accelerometer data acceleration and x and for y we are doing the same we could copy that and paste it over here and change it to y and acceleration y position and now we need to connect a real is device in order to check our code okay let's add a manager cm location manager like that and call it from manager and hit and run okay and now our code should work but here's one thing when we tilt our iphone down the circle smooths up so the only thing we need to do is to change the sign for y coordinate to minus so that's it with core motion if you find this video interesting and useful give it a like consider subscribing to this channel and i'll see you next episode bye bye